The Lord is with us, my sweet family. He is leading and protecting us, and today he wanted to speak about peace, the peace that passes all understanding. My people, you don't need me to tell you how turbulent the times are. However, you do need to come before me in the Blessed Sacrament to keep your peace. If you do not have access to the tabernacle, make an altar in a quiet corner and use a photograph of me being exposed in the monstrance. There is also live adoration on the internet. And if you have a consecrated host or a blessed host, you indeed have me with you. I will stop at nothing to make sure that you have what is needed to bring you into my Eucharistic presence. Keep me covered when you are not in adoration. This is respectful. And even if you only have a photo, I will be with you in a powerful way. These times are turbulent and unsure, and that is why we are praying so fervently for the right things to be done for protection for your president and for exercising your right to vote. It would be easy for you to respond to civil unrest when it takes place near you. But I am pleading with you, do not get involved in these fabricated issues that inflame those who don't know any better. Tell your younger ones you are being played by a ruthless shadow government that wants to destroy your life and even rid you from the planet. Tell them these issues are almost completely fabricated and acted out by professional crisis actors, hired just to mislead the public into thinking there is some kind of civil rights issue. These people who are supposedly killed by law enforcement have appeared many times before in the other crisis roles for the government on that note, I want to mention that the Boston Marathon had the same crisis actors as the incident in Minnesota. And it, you can look at them closely and see that the same pair worked together in the Boston Marathon as well, which was also a false flag event. Jesus continued, These are called PSYOPs. In other words, how to manipulate a crowd to go wild and stir up trouble. How to play you. It's all about how to play you and make you do their bidding. Which right now is to take down the people who are standing for Christian values, protecting religious freedom, and so many other freedoms that it would make you very sick to see the depths of their depravity. In other words, how to manipulate a crowd to go wild and stir up trouble. How to play you. It's all about how to play you and make you do their bidding, which right now is to take down the people who are standing for Christian values, protecting religious freedom and so many other freedoms that it would make you sick to see the depths of their depravity. He continued, much of what they do originates in secret ceremonies dedicated to Satan. He is their leader. He is the one calling the shots. Baal is just as alive now as he was 3,000 years ago when people were offering their babies as sacrifices in red-hot cauldrons. Abortion is today's red-hot cauldron. These shadowy people do unspeakable things to children, my people, and actually consume their bodies in mock ceremonies, mocking my sacrifice of my body and blood, which I did once and for all for you. I want you to know that because you pray, because you come to me for strength and protection, you have nothing to fear. I am taking this evil empire down because of your continued passionate prayers. Those around you, though, are still quite naive and have no idea how they are being manipulated. I want you to tell them. Tell them to research Hillary Clinton's history with Satanism, torturing children and eating their flesh. It sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? But it is real. 
and the sooner those who have been led astray by the lying media, which is an arm of propaganda being guided by these unholy influences, the sooner they will understand perfectly what is actually going on and how they are being played and used for their own ends. Lord, do you really want me to tell all this? It is time for my people to wake up and look deeper. There is no easy way to declare what is going on. My main concern, Claire, is that this nation is divided by a phantom concept, not real issues. These conflicts that are acted out by crisis actors, paid by the shadow government, have tricked so many into believing they're real and they once more need to stand up for their rights and get even violent to pay back the offenders. All of this is psychological manipulation, playing on youth who have bitterness from frustrations in life and an ax to grind. This too is how Satan fuels the violent Muslim groups. I am the God of love, not the God of chaos. Understand my people, you are being manipulated and used to usher in a cruel and ruthless government when you play into their hands. The lying media has fed the nation lies, slander, gossip about anyone who is leading the people into true freedom. Once more, when you believe and repeat these things, you are lying. You are spreading gossip that destroys. In short, you are deep in sin, and your agreement with this slander has opened the door for the demons to sift you in your personal life. Slander and gossip are serious sins that can lead to the death of your soul. To listen to that, to agree with it, to pass it on, does serious damage to your soul and the souls of those you love and those around you. But I want to talk to you about maintaining your peace as things heat up. He who dwells in the shadow of the Almighty shall be protected. Pray Psalm 91 over your families every day. Know that as you spend time with me, I share my heart, my peace, and my protection with you. You may not feel it, but my grace is infusing you at these times. One thing you will feel after adoration with me is a certain sense of calm and confidence that you are in my hands and I approve and love you. I want you to walk as peaceful giants among men. Even in the midst of chaos, I want the peace of your heart and countenance to radiate and touch those around you. But you must stay away from the lies and slander and abide by the truth. You will be noticed when others are going off on fearful tangents and you keep your peace. They will begin to see that I am in control and those who rest in me will have the peace that passes all understanding Go now, my dear people, and stand up for the truth and for what is right. Do not get involved in volatile situations. Pray without ceasing. Especially pray blood and water from the side of Jesus. I trust in you. Save our president and our nation. I am with you to give you the grace you need to conquer the temptation to fall into fear, doubt, and other negative emotions. Remember that this peace comes from abiding with me and in me.